Hey, all you cool cats and kittens. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Bragon, and uh, today I'm going to be proving to you that the military helicopter is better. It's the best car in the game. It's better than the Volt Bike because no matter how many times I say it, I still get these idiots in the comments who won't believe me. So I'm going to prove it today. You guys will see how wrong you were. The military helicopter is the best and how right I was and how ashamed you should be. So basically, a lot of you have probably already been here before and you're subscribed or you're not. I don't know. You're one of that 80% who haven't. Um, you can change that. But anyways, though, you guys have probably been here before. You know what I'm going to do. We have a course. We, we ride around on it. But for anyone new here, basically, I'm going to be testing this in a very specific way. Um, people generally try to prove this kind of thing with speed test. And that is a very, very, very stupid idea. Not only is this never accurate because of the lag and other things like that. And it's like impossible for two people online in voice chat to press the forward key at the exact same time. It doesn't really matter how fast acceleration and top speeds are there's more to a car than that like for instance this car is terrible terrible off-roading like it, it can't really like cross the train track half the time it like screws up well what bruh i think you see what i'm going for the thing is there's more to a car than its acceleration and top speed how fast you can get from point a to point b is what matters more and there's more to, than acceleration and top speed when it comes to that for instance the braking matters the handling matters basically the handling determines like how much it's going to mess up or throw you off course or like can you go over the railroad track like that and not again no They said they fixed it. I think we've discovered a new state of matter. So generally my point is top speed doesn't really matter too much. When you're in like a Bugatti or something, for this car you can reach the top speed. This car is a good top speed. When you're in like a Bugatti, it has a high top speed, but you never really get to hit the top speed. Eventually you wind up going so fast that you just come off the map and you don't even want to go that fast in the first place. So why have the ability, why, why have that much top speed? It doesn't really mean the car is better just because it has the highest top speed. Today I'm going to be determining which car is overall the best for robbing stuff, getting you around the map, and uh, which one you should be using for grinding and hopefully make you more money. So basically to test this, I made a course, if you will, where I take the vehicle from wherever it spawns. So for the military helicopter, it spawned right there. It's not showing up. Come on. I take it from wherever it spawns and I go to the donut shop right here. And then I go from the donut shop to the gas station, and then to the bank and the jewelry store and the museum and the power plant. And then I go all the way back to the collector and cash in all my money. And then I go back to the donut shop again. I basically try and do that loop as many times as possible in 20 minutes. This is a good way to do it because it basically accounts for everything. Where the car spawns, the acceleration can control and that kind of thing. So for instance, the military helicopter is really good because you can stop, get out. I open up the door of every single robbery without actually robbing it and take off. And the only thing holding me back right now is top of speed, but I'm flying over everything else, so that's pretty good. I'll do the same thing to the gas station over here. I'll basically stop as quickly as possible. Might jump out and use the parachute. That doesn't normally happen in the test, my bad. Get back in and then go to the next robbery. Bank. Jewelry store. Museum. Power plant. Collector. I think you get the idea. So the helicopter has pretty much perfect handling. You basically wind up wherever you think you're going to wind up. And uh, it goes up. It goes up a little slow and down a little slow. That's probably like the only main um, thing that could be sped up that make it a little bit faster other than the top speed. But for the cars, it can be quite a bit different. Like for instance, with the Chiron. If you're going really, really, really fast and it doesn't have very good handling and say you want to stop at the jewelry store. It takes you a little while to slow down. So yeah, basically, like I said before, I will be using the jetpack with the standard fuel, taking each car around the map with that cycle I showed you guys for 20 minutes, and I'll show you guys in a time lapse how, how many times they can get around in 20 minutes. That'll basically determine which car is the best. I'm basically doing videos on every single interesting car in Jailbreak that you guys want me to do videos on. So I did one where it was the military helicopter versus the fighter jet. Go check that out. And I also did one where it was the new Bugatti versus the old Bugatti. And it's not really as simple as new Bugatti bad because Creek said so. So make sure to go check those out. Like and subscribe if you haven't already because I make tons of videos like this and I stream like four days a week. And check out my Twitch too. It's brand new. I'm, I'm streaming there twice a week now or more. And and I've only streamed there like once or twice. I'm going to be streaming there a lot more. So I'd appreciate it, you guys, if you're already subbed. And uh, yeah, let's get right into the time lapse. All right, so I have the results. And the military helicopter got around eight times, eight times in the 20-minute cycle around the entire map. It's pretty much perfect for handling. The handling is really, really good. Again, the speed that it rises up at and like goes back down is a little slow. That could be sped up. And the top speed could use a buff. But other than that, though, it's really good. The acceleration is good. You don't really have to worry about like off-roading because it flies.
flies. But the military helicopter holds you and seven passengers too, which is definitely an advantage. Yeah, I got around eight times into the bank. It can't be upgraded, obviously. So with the Volt bike, I was pretty disappointed. It, it works, it's fast enough. The acceleration's great, maybe the best of any car. But the problem with it is the handling sucks. I don't really think it does anything being in first person. It might make it, make it slightly better, but it doesn't really change much as far as I can tell. I kept, um, it kept doing its loop-de-loop -loop thing and like going all over the place. It, it's, it, it drives like spaghetti. That's the best way I can put it. It only got around four times into the jewelry store and that's mainly because of the off-roading stuff. I hit a bump and it would stop the entire vehicle. Like I'd have to like reorient it and go off the road, hit like any bump or for no reason at all on flat road, it would just like decide that it was randomly gonna pop up into the air and you couldn't drive it anymore. So yeah, I kind of proved it now. The Volt bike absolutely sucks. It's like the worst, don't buy it unless you have like every other car. I really wouldn't get it or unless you think it'd be really cool to own. I mean, it's up to you. Do whatever you want with your money. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I appreciate it. Make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys again next time. Oh, and again, follow me on Twitch or I'll steal your cookies.